Hey everybody, it's Justice for Comics. It is Wednesday, December 19th. Shooting a video highlighting comic books that are coming out next Wednesday, the 26th. Uh, next week is a very light week, so this video won't be very long as far as uh, highlighting the books that are coming out. There are very few books coming out next week, so... Uh, finally a light week because we've had a lot of heavy weeks lately with a lot of books coming out. So, um, start one to start off highlighting Hellboy, the brand new trailer for the new Hellboy movie just, uh, launched today. So if you haven't seen that, please go check that out. Um, it's all over YouTube. Uh, I've got several notifications about it. So, you know, this is going to be a well promoted movie. Um, it's a pretty, you know, good long trailer, about a minute and a half trailer, um, you know, it's, it's basically a first full trailer and it was very, very good. Um, I think there's some elements in it that look very, very similar to the other previous Hellboy, mo uh, movies. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it looks excellent, so I'm looking forward to it. And, you know, I've been a Hellboy fan. I've got a lot of Hellboy titles, not all of them. Um, it's hard to collect them all, but, um, I got a lot of the important ones, obviously the, the, um, what I consider the first appearance. I know there's other books that have been out previously that show Hellboy, but this is kind of the first, really the first full appearance of Hellboy um, in this title, Next Men uh, number 21. And he's on the cover and he's in the story. Um, so, th you know, this is, this is probably one of the most sought after books um, for the appearance, the first appearance of Hellboy. Technically, it's not his first appearance, but um, I know there was a, was it a, um, yeah, I think, I can't remember what it was. Dark Horse Presents, maybe he was in uh, uh, highlighting, or maybe it was, a, I can't remember exactly what it was. It was like a preview that had him on it, uh, or a picture of him in it, but there wasn't, any, you know, he wasn't in a story or anything, so... This is this is what I want. I mean, I didn't. I could have gone off after that other appearance, but this is the one that I consider to be the first full appearance. Next Men Twenty One. So I got two copies of that. This one's in really nice shape. It's probably a nine two, maybe nine four. You know, pretty high grade. And then the other one, um, a couple spine ticks. So this is you know the other one I have here is about an eight zero, probably eight eight zero to eight five. Still really good shape, um, but. A lot of, if you buy a lot of Hellboys, <laughs> you'll figure out pretty quickly that um, they're all on black covers typically, and that they're hard to find in really, really perfect shape. So um, condi condition sensitive to say the least. But that is definitely, you know, one of those books that I wanted to get. I picked it up maybe a year ago, a year and a half ago. So, um, you know, it's, it's a must have in my opinion to have this book in my collection. Uh, the other one I wanted to highlight is the wild hunt. Um, number two, this is the first appearance of the blood queen who is the protagonist in the movie. So they do show her briefly, uh, at the, at the end of the trailer. So, you know, this book has been heating up for a while and I think it's only going to get hotter. So... Uh, number two is the, is the key issue to have. That is the first appearance of the Blood Queen. Um, the other one to get is her first full appearance, which is the third issue, which I just picked up this week, believe it or not. Um, well, whoop, this isn't number three. <laughs> this is the first issue of that series. I wanted to highlight this one, too, because this is like a, a, a much more rare copy. This is There was only a 1,000 of these pre uh, printed. This was kind of a variant of the first issue of The Wild Hunt. Um, if you find this out, out in the wild, buy it. You know, even if it's 30, 40, 50 bucks, I would buy it. Uh, this is definitely an awesome book to have. And I think it's going close to $100 now for this. Um, yeah, number three. So I was at a shop the other day. Um, this is like a hole-in-the-wall type of comic book store. Uh, you know, very low rent district, you know, Definitely have to watch my wallet when I walk in, you know, when I walk around that neighborhood. <laughs> I wouldn't even walk around that neighborhood. But it's kind of one of those kind of CD comic book stores. And, you know, you never know what you're going to find. This I found a lot of stuff. And he, this guy buys collections all the time and throws them 
in long boxes, and you can kind of find some wild stuff. So I found this sitting in a box um, for cover price, believe it or not. This is the first full appearance of the Blood Queen, and this is probably a $30, $40 book uh, easily right now. Uh, you know, it's not the first appearance, but it's our first full appearance. And I just literally found that sitting in a, uh, in a bin for cover price. So uh, not only that, but they had a special holiday 30% off <laughs> signed. I got all these books also for 30% off. So yeah, it was a fantastic deal. But finding that out at a store, and I didn't have this. I, I can't believe I didn't have her first full appearance of the Blood Queen. I don't have the whole run. I just have I just had number one and two, which are the good ones to have, obviously. But uh, yeah, I was I was real happy to find that this week. This is a really good pickup for me, number three. And then another one, another store I was at. Oh, at that same store. Um, yeah, I think that was it. I found that and a couple other small books that were interesting. But uh, oh, I found that Mega Ghost. Um, Eric Powell variant. Uh, I found that on the wall at that store. So, yeah, it's a $20 book. It was sitting on the wall still. <laughs> so I got two issues of that now. Um, I found this at another shop uh, this morning. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 365. This is the first appearance of uh, Spider-Man 2099. And it's definitely a first appearance and first full appearance. Um, there's a it has his own little section in the back of the book. Um, you know, this is kind of a thicker, kind of 30th anniversary edition. So, you know, really beautiful shape. Definitely a, probably a 9.6 in my opinion. Um, I just found it in a back issue bin for 10 bucks. Pretty good deal. I think this is going for 30 to $40 in raw, you know, raw condition. So uh, to find that for 10 bucks, that's a great deal. And I didn't have it. Um, one of those key books that I think is worth having. Uh, I also got in the mail today, Ogre Number 2. This is a low print run book. Um, this series has done very, very well. The third issue just came out, and it's it had very good reviews. Uh, comicbookinvest.com did a full review on it. Um, there's a lot of people that like this series. And this issue number two, you know, it's going for like 15 bucks. Um, and I happened to pick up four copies direct from Source Point for cover price each. So th those were good purchases. Um, yeah, I might sell a couple of them, just keep two. I, I definitely want to keep two. I've got two of the first issue, two of the second issue. I think I have two of the third issue. So I'll have double a double set of Ogre uh, 1 through 3. And uh, I haven't read this issue number two yet, but the first issue I really, really enjoyed. I thought it was excellent. Um, Highly recommend it. So, yeah, if, if you happen to find that book out there at your shop, uh, they're sold out online just about everywhere, so real hard to find online. But uh, you might still find it at, at a local shop. You know, if they – SourcePoint Press does very little print, run in, print, print runs. I mean, this print runs probably way below 10,000. might be below 5,000. So um, be on the lookout for that book if, you, if you're out at your local shop. All uh, right, uh, another book I picked up. Uh, I picked this up online. It sold out in Midtown in like two seconds. This is the Mickey Spillane, uh, Mike Hammer number one. This is the San Diego, uh, San Diego Comic Con uh, Virgin variant. Uh, so it's a Virgin cover, and it's also um, autographed by Max Allen Collins, which is pretty nice. And I got, the, you know, I think... Believe it or not, I don't think this was signed. The Midtown had a virgin copy of this, but it wasn't signed, and they had it for just cover price, you know, three ninety nine basically. Uh, I picked this up on eBay for around thirteen dollars, which I think was a really good buy. Um, I just like the cover; I think it's pretty cool, and yeah, just kind of a really cool classic looking cover, and it's a virgin cover, so. Yeah, I like it. It's unique. I, you don't. You probably won't find this. A lot of people that own, will own this book. So um, probably not too many of these out there. Uh, another book I picked up at one of those shops today, uh, sitting on the shelf, is the one in twenty-five. This is the Star Wars Darth Vader um, 
I believe this is a Delato variant, Gabriel Delato variant. Beautiful cover, really nice image of Darth Vader. And I got this for 10 bucks. Um, Midtown had this for 21. So I got a really good deal um, on this book. Uh, I don't know why he pr had it priced so low. Maybe he thought it was a one in 10 variant. Um, but no, it's a one in 25. So this should have been priced around 20 to $25. And I picked it up for 10 bucks. So really, really nice, beautiful cover there. I love it. I love Delato. He's awesome. And another book there I picked off the wall was Amazing Spider-Man number 12, the B cover. This is the, the Fantastic Four Villains variant. And this is by a Addie Granoff. And I just love that cover. Galactus, pretty cool. I like the way they, like, like the way he drew that with perspective. Uh, another one I picked up at that shop that I missed off of Midtown was Freedom Fighters number one. This is the Ben Oliver uh, variant really cool cover. I haven't read it yet. Don't know if it's any good, but um, I'll give it a read and see if it's if it's decent And Another one that sold off of Midtown very quickly was Thor number eight. And this is the D cover. Uh, this is the Carrie Andrews cover And that was sitting on the wall still Probably should have bought multiple copies of this because I think this will probably be a ten to fifteen dollar book easily uh, if it isn't already, I haven't checked eBay, but you know I'm pretty sure this is this will be a ten to fifteen dollar book. And last but not least, uh, I picked up Domino number nine, really cool cover, and I guess there's also a first appearance of somebody in this issue, Bear something. I I, I read I can't remember who who the name of the character is, but um, that'll be one that uh, you may want to hunt down if you're at your local shop. I don't think, I don't know if it's sold out at Midtown yet or not. It might still be available, so you may want to check that as well. So let's jump into it real quick with the books that are coming out uh, for next week. Zoom in here a little bit. Um, again, light week for pretty much every for everything. You've got Hellboy in the BPRD number two, 1956. Kind of a cool cover. I like that cover. Zoom in a little bit better for the cover there. Yeah, pretty cool. Very nice. So that, that looks awesome to get. Um, looks like they're doing a lot of exclusive stuff. There's convention sign stuff. You got a Frank Miller Dark Knight sign for a hundred bucks. Uh, you know, you got these foils, convention exclusive foils. Uh, Art Germ with with Catwoman. A couple of those, thirty dollars each. Uh, what's interesting too is you with DC. You know, obviously there's not much coming out with DC this week. It's it's just pretty much exclusives. Um, you've got these Batman Damned, which are cover signed by Jim Lee, and sketched by Lee Bajermo. So I I don't know really what that entails, but um, yeah, the image doesn't really show you anything. I don't. No, oh, okay. So he signed it and he did this little marker sketch. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't think that that warrant, I mean, it's a 9.8, but um, 800 bucks, I don't know if that seems, seems a little crazy to me, but they sold out fast, right? I mean, the, the black label sketch here by um, Jim Lee, um, signed uh, by Bajermo, and that sold out 800 bucks. And then there's another one here for 1200. Uh, that is also sold out, so I don't know who's buying those, but seems a little too much in my opinion. Uh, we'll skip Dynamic Entertainment. I'm not into those books. Uh, nothing out of IDW that I care for either. Um, like I said, very very light week. Image only had you know basically three books coming out. Not into any of those. Um, Fantastic Four had the issue number five. I guess this is the, this is the follow-up from the wedding. Got a nice rabbitic cover, but I don't know. I, mean, it, I, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to pick this up. I mean, I do like rabbitic's artwork, but unless this is a really th thicker book, like a uh, 40 or 50 pager, um, you know, they want eight bucks for that. Um, I don't know. It just seems... 
I, I do like that riveted cover, and I do like the, um, this is the Perel cover which, with Conan. That's pretty cool. I like that cover. Nice cover. Um, again, $8 price tag there. Um, so you got Fantastic Four, a lot of different covers. You got a Rabidic Premier cover, which is basically the same as the first cover, but there's it's partially colored, partially black and white. And they want $170 for that. Yeah, I think I'm going to pass. Um, you got some exclusive with Return of Wolverine. Um, you know, Granov, I mean, it's a pretty cool image. It's a nice cover. Just, I don't know, I, I feel I feel like burned out on variants. I just feel like, I think lately I'll buy a variant if I like it and it's for like a normal cover price. But um, I got to really, really like the cover um, for me to pay more than, than the normal cover price these days. So... Maybe it's just, uh, maybe that's temporary. I don't know. It's just the way I feel lately. I feel like it were, I think a, I think a lot of us are feeling burnt out from all the, the different covers and the ratios. But I think Marvel does that to everybody. <laughs> so Superior Spider-Man number one's out. Um, that's the Hawthorne variant. I do like that one. I think that's the my favorite of the group. I don't think I'm going to buy it, though. Um, you know, I'll look to see. Maybe on e Sometimes you wait. You know, this is... They're asking 20, this is a one in 25 variant. So it's going for $21 on, e, on Midtown. It's not sold out. Um, I don't think it's gonna be a hot book. So I wouldn't be surprised if I could pick this up for 15, maybe $10 uh, if I wait a little bit. So I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna be patient, wait on that. Uh, there's also a Marco Durjevic cover. You can never say his name right. Um, that looks pretty cool, villains cover. Then uh, you've also got this Bushima Hidden Gem. I mean, that's going for big money, right? $425. Wow. Uh, the one, one of the few books I did pick up this week is X-Force number one. Not that I'm a huge X-Force fan. Um, you know, that's the, this is the regular cover, which is pretty nice. That's a nice cover. I like that. Um, you've got your good old Scotty Young variant cover. You got a blank sketch cover. And my favorite, and the one I'm picking up, is this Zafino cover. Gerardo Zafino. I love him. He's he's good. I mean, this isn't one of his his better covers, but it's it's definitely still good. Um, but I just I just love Zafino. I'll pretty much buy anything Zafino does. I just like his style, his you know, that gritty, just very stylistic artwork. It's cool. It's kind of like, you know, you either like an artist or, you know, you either love an artist sometimes or you don't. Um, there's some people that don't, maybe don't like Zafino. Just like, I like Jay Lee. I mean, there's a lot of Jay Lee stuff that I like, but then some of the stuff I, you know, I just don't care for. Um, I think the one that's really popular that I don't care for at all is Campbell. <laughs> J. Scott Campbell. I just don't care for his artwork at all. I mean, it just doesn't do anything for me. Um, so I've bought a few of his covers and, and just resold them because I know there's people out there that like his artwork. Uh, I'm just not one of them. So I've probably said that more than once on these videos. Um, but Zafino is definitely, he's probably one of, you know, Mattina, Federici. They're all Italian guys, it seems like. Zafino, <laughs> just basically I look for Italian artists. That's the, the way I go, I guess. But that's a 1 in 10, so, you know, it's going to be 8 to $10 at your local shop. Um, so I think that's worth getting. So there wasn't much out for Marvel, for sure. Um, I think the only other book I picked up was Bone Parish, number 5. Or is this number 6? Yeah, number 5. That's a pretty cool cover. I like that. It's been a very good series. The writing has been excellent. Uh, Colin Bunn is definitely hitting it out of the park with this with this one. I think the series is going to do well. I think it's going to get picked up for a, a TV series for sure. Netflix, Hulu, somebody is going to develop this thing. Um, I absolutely would count on this getting option. So uh, if you haven't picked up, you know, early issues, issue number one, uh, I would I would be hunting that down uh, quickly. 
I've got a couple, you know, a couple extra copies uh, of issue number one. So I I think that's going to do well. Um, don't be surprised if that gets options for something at some point pretty soon. Uh, then there's also Livewire. This is a glass variant. So I purchased the very first glass cover, uh, which was a Bloodshot um, number one Rising Spirit, I think it was. Um, and this is the same the same guy is doing it, Doug Braith Braithwaite. So this is his second. This is the second glass cover ever made. Also done by Valiant. Um, so when you buy this, you know, that's what the artwork will look like. It'll look just like that. Um, so the artwork is underneath the glass. There's, there's a, literally a pane of glass that will be over the artwork. And it's somehow the process they've, I don't know if they've glued it. I don't know how that, maybe they've glued it. I don't, I'm not too sure how it, how it is. But, I mean, it's a thick piece of glass. <laughs> so... The comic book will definitely weigh two to three times what a normal comic book weighs. Um, I could not put it in a regular mylar. You know, it won't fit a standard mylar. So I was able to fit it in a um, in a Silver Age mylar. So beware of that when you buy this book. Um, you know, it takes special handling. You probably can't store it with your other book. You know, you can store it with your Golden and Silver Age books. It'll fit in that type of storage. But, um, you know, you just have to be more careful with it because it's glass. It's literally glass. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they want 350 bucks for that. So it's probably kind of like Blood Bloodshot. It's probably a 1 in 250. So for every one issue of the A cover of Livewire, there's only, or yeah, what is it? For every 250 copies of Livewire, a, a, uh, the A cover, there's one copy of this glass cover. So, you know, there's probably only a few thousand in existence, if that, maybe a thousand copies. Um, so I think that was it for the week. That's all I had. Um, again, I would go check out the, the new trailer for Hellboy. Um, I... I have a lot of hopes for this movie. The trailer looks awesome. And, you know, I'm, I'm a good judge of a movie by a trailer. Usually if the trailer's engaging, kind of gets you involved, um, usually the movie's going to be pretty good. Um, I know some DC movies had good trailers and they didn't end up doing too well. But, um, you know, it's trailers definitely can add a lot to the hype in a movie, so... Yeah, let me know what you guys think uh, of these books. Let me know what you think of Hellboy. Uh, after you watch the trailer, I'd love to see your comments, whether you liked it or not. Um, so that's kind of all I have. I don't think I'll be shooting a video next week. I'm going to be heading to see family for Christmas up in New Jersey. So I will be traveling, starting to travel tomorrow. I'll be on the road um, for a couple days and then out of town for a little over a week. So I probably won't shoot another video until, you know, either the very last week of December or right around the first week of January. So I uh, probably won't shoot a video next week. So I hope everybody has a merry, merry Christmas or a great holiday, uh, happy Hanukkah, all that good stuff. Um, if you, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for notifications and please leave me a comment. would love to hear your thoughts on these books and what's coming out, that kind of thing. And I will see you guys in about a week or so. All right. Thanks, guys.